Welcome to day four and five combined into one video because day five I barely got any BTS so I just thought I'd combine it. Here we are back at the university. We are in Craig Hall of Missouri State University and uh, we're going to be here for the next two days actually. Day four and five is the same location. So uh, this kind of gave us an advantage also, you know, disadvantage a little bit uh, in many ways because it's a bigger area. So, like, communication was need to be stronger. But, you know, we had radio, so we were in luck at that. But we are using the Coger Theater and Craig Hall, like I said, in Missouri State University. And all of our stuff is just laid out, you know, in the open here. Not the best organization, but, like, we're the only one there anyway, so it didn't really matter. So in the actual theater, it's actually dark where this audience is. And then, you know, the stage is actually lit up very well. We actually use the stage lights for like 90% of our lighting. And I think 10% is actually our own setup here. So uh, we had that advantage, like not a lot of lighting setup, but that didn't mean it was easier because uh, this was kind of like, this is the dancing choreography scene. So, uh, there was a lot of moving parts in that case. This first day here, day four, they said we did not need to record sound. So it was basically all MOS and it's just all musical stuff. So we didn't need to record sound. That's what they said. Although, you know, thank goodness I am there. I'm able to record some sound if needed. I didn't have the sound bag set up, but I actually like was using my camera that I'm holding to do BTS to record sounds. So, uh, you know, I kind of fell in that luck because like after they sing, they run off. And if I can capture the footsteps of that instead of recreating it, it's always a little bit better. Here's our, our camera setup. Uh, we have a map box for most of the cases here. You didn't see that the, the previous day, even though we used the map box, uh, we didn't see much of the camera. We used some filters. Uh, for like music stuff, we use uh, Promise filter, and we also had like a uh, anamorphic streaking type filter that we added onto the lens to kind of create that streak look for the flares that we wanted, and um, that's how it was set up. And it kind of proved tricky in the previous day because like it made the gimbal heavier, and actually like it on a day five it actually like made it really heavy i couldn't even balance it properly uh i'm pretty sure it was still under the 10 pound limit of the rs3 pro but i think it's just like it was very front heavy and since it was a uh, the filter the promise filter we used it was actually a 4 by 5.56 filter so like it's actual like heavy glass it wasn't a screw on type filter so that made it even more heavy. Then you have the map box and you know, it's just kind of imbalanced. I had the V mount under it and stuff and I had like counterweights, but it still wasn't enough. The balance just never worked out. But here day four, like I said, it's mostly singing and dancing. It's literally the same two songs done twice. Like one scene is a kind of rehearsal and the other scene is the actual thing. So here's a camera. You can kind of see our map box. Um, our filter isn't in in this case because uh, we didn't want to use the filter for some of the scenes. I think this is um, like not the musical stuff. There's very specific musical scenes that we want the filter and there are some that we don't. So like it's kind of very like you have to know what you're doing basically. So it was our DP's choice anyways. Here's the light that we use to kind of uh, add some fill whatever we needed. Cause we didn't want to go up and actually change the stage lights that would take forever just for like a real quick you know shot and that would ruin everything honestly and they have to change it back however they needed it so uh, we just kind of set up a light for whatever our very specific purpose was so we were actually able to use the theater's sound system for this which i'm so happy because after the fiasco that happened on day three with my speaker I was like, it's going to be difficult to set everything up. And my car was absolutely packed. Uh, I I did bring my sound system just in case, but I just left it in the car just in case, like, we really, really needed it. But then, you know, 
since being able to use the sound system in the theater, it made life easier. And uh, the, the girl who helped run the sound for day three, the music sound, uh, she just kind of ran that since she kind of knew the songs. And, you know, the director can say, let's play this song, you know, play this point. And then she was able to do it perfectly without fail. So now we're on day five and uh, the theater was actually used uh, the night of day four. So we had like a hard out we had to leave by and we had to rearrange like how it looked like. So that's what everyone's doing right now. There's Brayden, our sound guy. So he's here for day five. So that's a good thing. I don't have to run sound. And this day was uh, pretty tough in my opinion. I This is our last day of shooting actually. And I told our first AD, uh, I was like, if we can like need to, if we need to spend a little more time to get everything done properly, this is the time to do it because like, I think we did actually miss some shots from the previous day. Then we had to redo it. We had to reshoot it, I think. And this, I was like, we just, it will be difficult to do it, but we need to do it. So we, we did it. And that's kind of a bonus because we had all day to do this and we took advantage of it. Even though it didn't take 12 hours, uh, we did take, I think, as long as they were scheduled for. Some actors had to leave certain times, so, you know, there was that important factor of it. But regardless, like, they were willing to, like, stay and finish the whole thing because this is literally the final day of shooting. Wait, you girl? I can't find Malaya. Mr. Burke, what do you want to do? Tear my own hair out. I need for rehearsal. Should I put the understudy in? I'm ready if you need me. Uh, Malaya wasn't in school today. Kind of a diva move right before dress rehearsal. I just saw her at the choir room. I'm going to. 
sorry. I'm so sorry. I messed up that mic. Okay. Okay. Keep rolling from here. I just saw her in the fire room. Okay, let's try live. I just like. So then why is she here? Yeah, then why is she here now? Thank you. Great. I just saw her in the fire room. Then why isn't she here now? I did not leave the national tour of Kinky Boots to teach high school drama queens who can't make it to final dress. Hey, Sam, did you call her? There's an idea. Every one of you has a social media device. Take five. Call her. Straight to voicemail. Where are you on trail? I don't want to see your high ass parts. As we look at this final clip here in the video, uh, this is kind of a tricky scene. Even though we just did a whole dance choreography, this scene was kind of last minute of like, let's set up this, let's do a blocking like this. And it was very, very specific. So uh, it took unnecessarily long in my opinion to set it up, but it didn't take forever either. Like we did it pretty quick regardless. It's just, uh, you know, we had to light people up and the stage was a little bit lit too. And the house lights are kind of ugly as you can kind of see here. So we kind of had to like do things, you know, as efficiently as quick as possible. And at this point, this is why I didn't shoot a lot of BTS. I was trying to you know, get things done quick. Um, I would like put my camera down and be like, all right, let's do this lighting setup. Like, what about this, this? I talked to the gaffer's son and he's like, yeah, let's do that. We set it up. You can't see in this shot, but we set up a TL30s uh, basically opposite of the wall across from this camera here and shooting down just to kind of add some depth because it was pretty boring. It's just kind of brown walls. So I added some lights there to kind of like boost it up. I just t gaff taped the TL30s onto it and shot it at 100%, which like, I was like, all right, we need to go, we need to go now because we only have like, at the most an hour before these lights die. But this is the end of the video and I hope you've enjoyed this BTS. Thank you for watching.